Today on AFWL TV, we're talking about our brand new fire trucks and it starts right now. All right guys, so we just released not only one, but two brand new fire trucks on our website and in our city. One is a ladder truck and one is a heavy rescue truck. But why did we update the design? After all, we've had a fire truck available for a while now, and many of you guys have actually built it yourselves and said that you like it. Well, allow me to explain. Our old fire truck was great. It was one of our first official fire truck minifig scale builds. Uh, we released it in 2020, and it's been available for free as a YouTube tutorial for about a year now. While many people loved it, there has been one major issue, and that is rising costs for a few of the parts that were used in the build. In particular, two parts, um, the doors on the top, which LEGO stopped producing and have replaced with newer hinge doors, more on that in a minute, but also an important piece that actually was used inside of the build to create the upside down cheese slope effect, which is found around the wheels. Now, until recently, we hadn't really figured out a way to do that, doing the upside down cheese slopes without using that part. But we're happy to report that on the two new builds that we're showing today, we've cracked the code using a common Lego brick you can find pretty much anywhere. Additionally, the new trucks are built on Technic Base, which allows for much more stability and weight distribution. So let's talk about the new designs, starting with the ladder truck. So starting with the larger of the two, the Brickle Fire Department ladder truck is an awesome build for any city because it is a traditional ladder fire truck built to what a lot of American fire trucks look like, including an American flag on the back, which I'll show you in a second. Now it is built to minifig scale as mentioned before, and the top has some pretty cool features, which we can dive into right now. So as expected, it features a fully extending ladder, which can move up and down, right and left. And it has a really cool mechanism that took us a little bit to figure out how to do, but uh, we're really happy with how it turned out. Not only that, but it's important for the ladder to be able to move 360 degrees to access any potential fires in the city. And it extends with the ladder on top. Now we know that storage for gear is also important. So there's doors on the side, doors on the back, and um, it actually passes through all the way to the other side. So you can store quite a bit down there, not to mention a few other cubbies here and there. And if all else fails, you can take advantage of the extra storage built into the truck by lifting off the back top after removing two bricks that secure it down. And now that you've gotten a good tour of the ladder truck, let's move on to the heavy rescue truck, which also has some pretty cool built-in details, including easy to find pieces. And it has the same overall footprint as the ladder truck, um, except for the flag on the back, which you could add, there's a clip for it. But it does feature a larger interior minifig cab. The cab has a lot of room for EMS and additional people to sit inside. And I forgot to mention, but the cab does also lift off on the ladder truck as well. Another cool feature about both trucks we tried to incorporate was a curved window in the front to make it look like it's rolled down. Uh, it's kind of a little, a little hard to see in the video, but uh, you know, nice little feature. Now, what makes the heavy rescue truck unique is it has a ladder built into the back, which you can take out and use for different scenes. Um, it's got a little cubby back there. And then also it has similar storage to the ladder truck, uh, including, you know, not only the same lift up doors as the ladder truck, but also some additional cubbies all around the vehicle, um, which just creates extra place for minifig accessories and firefighting elements. Now again, the whole thing is built on a Technic base, just like the ladder truck as well, which adds more stability and just creates a, a more rigid base for the entire truck. And overall, we're really happy with how it turned out. Now, as a reminder, both of these have been uploaded to our website already, so you can download the instructions and part files right now. They're fully available and they're really easy to assemble and we try to keep the part cost down, uh, especially from the first fire truck released last year. So after you download the instructions and parts files, but after you build them, another important part is to add the stickers, which if you haven't seen our tutorial on how to make stickers, uh, you can watch it up above, I'll link it. And it's a great way to make stickers that are both inexpensive and easy to make using just a laser printer, which most people have at home. After you add your stickers, the last thing to do is add them to your city, add your minifigs and make a fire scene or put out fires that are already happening in your city. Or you could build a fire station and create your own scenery that way. Again, 
What's great about Lego is the possibilities are endless and it's up to you with your own creative direction to create whatever it is that you want. Well guys, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you don't already, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We post updates on those that aren't often shared on YouTube, so make sure that you are following us on those platforms as well. And if you're not already subscribed, we would really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing and liking the video. It really does do a lot for the channel and thank you to everybody who's done so, so far. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we do have a city update video plan for the next couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. But that's it for today. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next video.